must not fight over traditions. What should we fight for? Don't fight for your bishop. Don't fight for the choristers. Don't fight for your vicar. Don't fight for vicar's wife. I'm sorry that because you love I me, don't fight you. for me. Paul says, I know fight the good fight alone. of me. But God told me that he needed me. He called me to come home. In what seemed to be an instant, in the twinkling of an eye, an angel gently took my hand and led me toward the sky. The Most Reverend Dr. Humphrey Bamishibi Ulumakai has finally taken a bow. He has gone to be with the Lord. The soaring eagle has finally taken a perch. A hero is gone, a soldier of the cross, a defender of the faith. He fought gallantly. Although he is gone, he was not defeated by death, but has translated into a saint. O oh, death! Where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? For blessed is the death of the righteous. I finished the race Throughout the trial I kept my faith Humphrey Bamishibi Olumakai was born on January 28, 1969, at Okene, Kogi State, to the family of late Venerable Theophilus Akimbobola and Mrs. Abigail Olumakai, who hailed from Idari in Ondo State. He started his education at St. Michael's Primary School, SEA, in 1975 and proceeded to Govan Secondary School, Omara. Quara State in 1982. In 1983, he left Omora to conclude his secondary education at Cherubim and Seraphim Secondary School, Ilori, in 1986. He bagged his first degree in religious studies from the University of Ibadan between 1991 and 1993, and a master's degree in religious studies in 2001. He went further to obtain a doctorate degree in church history and doctrine from the same university. His journey in the ministry began in 1993 at Christ the Saviour Anglican Church, Kappa, Ilesha, Ocean State, in June. 1993, when he was I'm ordained a deacon, was priested in December 1993, preferred canon in November 1999, and in 2000 preferred an archdeacon by the then Bishop of Elisha, the Right Reverend Ephraim Adebola Adimowo, the erstwhile Bishop of Lagos Diocese, Archbishop of Lagos Province, and Dean Emeritus, Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion. This was after Olumakaya's training and graduation from Emmanuel College of Theology. When all goes sinless, and life goes extremely darling, your spirits live by fire. At the age of 40, Olumakaya was elected bishop on May 22, 2009. He was consecrated bishop on July 12, 2009, in Yenogwa, Wells State, while he was enthroned on July 16, 2009, at the Cathedral Church of St. Philip's, Otan Ayubaju, as the pioneer bishop of Anglican Diocese of Ocean Northeast. Olumakai was married to Motunrayo Funke, who is a professor and former head of the Department of Nutrition and Consumer Sciences, Faculty of Agriculture, of Bafemi Awolowo University, Ilaife, in Ocean State. They have a son, Richard Tumbamishi. As the pioneer bishop of the diocese, 
he turned a thick forest into a mega city. These are evident in the multi-million Nara bishop's court, a chapel, library and resource center, diocesan headquarters, a multi-purpose hall, bishop's office complex and schools at different locations within the diocese to increase the spiritual lives of the priests and the congregation. He came up with the idea of building a prayer mountain and a prayer city, which was named after Mrs. Oluranti Adimowo. Stall and enthrone you, the right reverend father in God, Humphrey Bamishebi Oluma Kaye, elected, confirmed, and consecrated into the real, actual, and corporate possession of the bishopric of Lagos. After a decade of faithful service at Ocean Northeast, the Most Reverend Dr. Humphrey Olumakai was translated to see to the Diocese of Lagos and was enthroned as the 8th Diocesan Bishop on the 30th of July, 2018. The progress of the Diocese of Lagos the Diocese of Lagos was a prepared and fertile land for Archbishop Olumakai, who came to continue building on the spiritual legacy of Archbishop Ephraim Adimowo and to push further in church planting, come human and material development. It is to his credit that within three years of translation, Archbishop Olumakai had taken the Diocese of Lagos to greater heights. He was translated just about when the celebration of the centurion existence of the diocese was to kick off. As the eighth bishop of Lagos Diocese, he came up with innovations that triggered a more spiritual awakening of the diocese congregation. This manifested into the opening of each new year with a 14-day prayer and fasting program and has not been broken so far. This is followed by the declaration of 21 days of fasting and praying tagged the memorial. He introduced and founded the Divine Mandate Voices as well as the Divine Mandate Partners, both of which gained recognition at the start of the 100 years anniversary of the existence of the Diocese of Lagos. He declared a five-fold ministry of priestly, pastoral, prophetic, prayer and praise ministry for the Diocese. In addition, Olumukaya also started the healing and charismatic service which now comes up every first Sunday of the month at 4 p.m. in the cathedral. He also declared the first three days of every month as power for the month in all parishes at 6 a.m. The late Archbishop also ensured that the diocese has one target to attain via a dedicated theme for each year to further enhance the spirituality of members. There is a periodic festival of hymns. He also led street evangelism and has opened doors for raising more evangelists among priests. The Emmaus experience which takes place every Easter season is a booster to the faith as members are able to see clearly during the season the way of the church and visit the Gethsemane Garden where notable places in Jerusalem are replicated at the Centenary City. The greatest of these monumental achievements is the acquisition of 1,500 plots of land covering five kilometers for the Diocese of Lagos, christened the Centenary City. Situated in the city are the General T. White and Juma's low income estate, Gethsemane Garden, Chapel, Convention Grounds, Women and Youth Empowerment Centers, and more. Work is currently going on on the site in an unprecedented way to the glory of God. 
There is also the acquisition of Delight International Schools, now worth about half a billion Naira. The school was acquired with less than 200 students, now boasts of 1,000 students within an academic session. The Archbishop Ephraim Adebola and Mrs. Oloranti Adimowo Center for Resources is now of a world-class standard, with the whole compound fully transformed. The Rock's apartment, which is an old people's home at Ikorodu, was gifted to the diocese by the Cathedral Circle, a society in the Cathedral Church of Christ Marina, has since been renamed the Diocese of Lagos Hospital for Elders. It will be the takeoff point for St. Luke's Global Hospital. Throughout the trial, I kept my faith. He has also invested so much in no making the church occupy her rightful place suffer. through the media. It's paid off during the invasion of coronavirus, I'm as it became the only means of communicating with members. Membership of most of the churches increased through social media platforms, and this was also evident in the financial status of most churches. The establishment of a 24 hours online radio and television named Lagoon Radio and Lagoon Television remains a big credit to the memory of Archbishop Olumakai. The Lagoon Radio and Lagoon Television also serve as a learning place for students on industrial training and have offered job opportunities to youths in the diocese. My body's been made whole. The Archbishop, being I'm a scholar with a PhD from the Premier girl. University, the University Heaven of Ibadan, believed so much in education. Hence, his professor wife, girl. Mama Lagos, Motunrayo Olumakai, teamed up with him to improve on Archbishop Abiodun Adetiloye Comprehensive College, Iboye in Epe. The same is extended to Delight International Schools, which recently acquired functional science laboratories, basketball and volleyball courtyards, and a library. You. I know you feel alone, but God told me that he A new school, the Episcopal Anglican College, was established and the first set of students resumed in September 2021 for the 2021-2022 academic session at a temporary site in the Ayeteju area of Lagos, while the permanent site will be at the centenary city, Ibejuleki, Lagos. Archbishop Olumakai was noted to have always encouraged first-class graduates of the diocese in all universities through a scholarship grant of one million naira each upon securing admission for postgraduate studies in any part of the world. This he had fulfilled without fail, and two of these beneficiaries are already studying abroad for their masters. Archbishop Olumakai has also made a significant impact on the youth through his constant quest for improvement in their social status. Apart from providing job opportunities, he has followed strictly the path of his predecessor, the Most Reverend Dr. E. A. Adebola Adimowo, for giving out non-interest loans to the youths in various businesses as a form of empowerment. Every year, selected youths from various archdeaconries are given between 250,000 naira to 500,000 naira each. Over 100 youths have been empowered since the takeoff of the scheme. This is done at every synod in the diocese. Heaven's now my home. God told me not to worry. The creation of the Directorate of Welfare came into being during the scourge of COVID-19. Archbishop Olumakai was the first cleric to stand by the government with the sum of five million naira to support the efforts of the governor and palliative measures for the citizens, even as he encouraged churches to replicate this gesture in their parishes. Hospital bills were settled for indigent members and priority was given to priests with any health issues. 
priests are assisted with interest-free loans for their personal house projects and are allowed to go for further studies. There is a continuous clergy education program to help in the personal development of the clergy. Archbishop Olumakai also introduced clergy and clergy wives Christmas get together that allows the clergy and their families to catch some fun and interact with themselves every December. All these achievements would not have been possible without the support of his amiable wife, Professor Mrs. Motunrayo Ulumakai, whose resourcefulness had added laurels to their pungent achievements. The diocesan and missioner, the Right Reverend Dr. Humphrey Bamishibi Ulumakai, was elected the Archbishop of the Ecclesiastical Province of Lagos by the House of Bishops. Henry, by divine permission and providence, Archbishop, Metropolitan, and Primate of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, hereby present to you our brother, the Most Reverend Humphrey Bamishevi Olumakae as the Archbishop of the Ecclesiastical Province of Lagos. He was presented as the Archbishop of Lagos Ecclesiastical Province on November 7, 2021 at the Cathedral Church of Advent, Life Camp Abuja, the Federal Capital Territory. Archbishop Olumakai was the first Nigerian priest to preach at St. Marylebone Church, London, and for four years, between 2011 and 2015, was an annual guest lecturer at St. Luke's Central, Birmingham, United Kingdom. He was a man of international repute, a prolific writer, an author. He published two great books of international standard, namely Anglican Women, Position, Privilege, and Prospects of Women in the Church, and the Inculturation and Decolonization of Oral and Liturgical Theology of the Anglican Communion, Nigeria. He has many other publications in journals to his credit. Until his call to glory, he was the chairman, board of governors, Emmanuel College of Theology, foremost theological institution in Nigeria, Ibadan. The right Reverend Dr. Humphrey Bamishibi Olumakai died on the 30th of October, 2022. Adieu, Humphrey Bamishibi Ulumakai. May the soul of the departed rest in peace. Flying with the angels, heaven's now my home. I'm sorry that I left you. I know you feel alone. But God told me that he needed me He called me to come home In what seemed to be an instant In the twinkling of an eye An angel gently took my hand And led me toward the sky As I ascended into heaven Beyond the pearly gates Angels were rejoicing Then I saw his radiant face God's eyes shone down upon me From the glory of his throne He said, enter into paradise Cause heaven's now your home I fought the fight I finished the race Throughout the trial 
I kept my faith. No longer do I suffer. My body's been made whole. I'm flying with the angels, and heaven's now my home. God told me not to worry. He said you'd be okay. Because eternity's forever, and we'll meet again someday. I fought the fight, I finished the race. Throughout the trial, I kept my faith. No longer do I suffer. My body's been made whole. I'm flying with the angels, and heaven's now my home. I'm flying with the angels, and heaven's now my home. I fought the fight, I finished the race, throughout the trial, I kept my faith, no longer do I suffer, my body's been made whole, I'm flying with the angels. Heaven's now my home. God told me not to worry. He said you'd be okay because eternity's forever, and we'll meet again someday. I fought the fight. I finished the race. Throughout the trial. I kept my faith. No longer do I suffer. My body's been made whole. I'm flying with the angels, and heaven's now my home. I'm flying with the angels, and heaven's now my home.